saw St. Francis and Tate, but they, they really are a very, very good defensive team, and they're really patient. They're the, really the first team that got the ball inside. We played three games against teams that were really doing nothing but shooting on the perimeter. And uh, this is the first team that really got the ball in the post, and we, are, we just didn't, we weren't in good position. Our centers were not in good position. They scored 29 points in the paint. That's more than half of their points, and you know, they get 50. Uh, they did a good job with their perimeter guys. Uh, I'll tell you, Rockford is a great shooter. We, we just left them open a couple, three times. He made all three. But uh, we just got spread out a little bit, and their post guys just had, had uh, opportunities in there and finished. And you know, offensively, it's the first time since this summer. Carlton, the game with Carlton probably helped us in this game because they played the same way. They face guard CJ. They made it hard for him to get anything. He got tough shots the whole night. Uh, I thought that, uh, you know, again, you play three teams in a row that don't do that. Now all of a sudden you get that kind of pressure. And, you know, I don't think we handled it well. We, tr we finally started trying to get to the basket where we could create an opportunity and then get an offensive rebound situation. But uh, offensively, uh, it's really the first game that we've seen that. We're going to see that a lot, that kind of physical defense. Uh, you can still play physical defense, you know, just you got to play with your body. And uh, I thought they did a great job of that and really, you know, took control of the game late. Uh, we had to make a couple big defensive stops down the end. Uh, Jeremy got a, a monster offensive rebound, and then he made his, you know, out when he needed to, he, he made his free throws. He did the same thing this summer in the game in Canada. We were down, and he had to make, I think, four, made four in a row. Uh, I, I just thought but the, the difference, we got a couple stops late, and uh, got on the boards, and it, it's a very, very difficult game. I think it will help us. I think we can learn some things from this and help us going forward. But we certainly uh, have got a lot of work to do, and uh, that's not a surprise. That sums up what I have to say. You said a couple of times that your team is not very good at this point. Is tonight's well, game validation? Know, I don't know if I've said that. I well, said we're not as good as we were last year. Uh, I think every coach thinks their team is not as good as you'd like to see them at this stage. I hope I didn't say we're not good. Uh, I think we're a good team. I think we have got a lot of work to do to be uh, a really good team. I think we've got a lot of work to do to get there. Um, but uh, I was just wondering right. if this game was a reflection more of St. Francis or of your team. Oh, they played very well. I said that right now. How much of a concern is uh, Daylon? Well, you know, he it, it's it, it, he scored four points in a row. They scored four points in a row. So you know, we can't we can't have that. He's got to be better down there. I didn't think that our other centers were that much better, but they were a little better. And at the end, uh, they were better. They made some plays down there. Uh, he got four offensive rebounds because he goes to the basket. He got good penetration. Got a shot up there. And he got. Four offensive rebound basket. That's what he does. He does that. He did that in Canada this summer. Um, you know, he's our best offensive rebounder. It's just a question: Can we give up what we're giving up? And I really thought our other two centers would do a better job. They did not really do a much better job. Although finally, late, I got around and kept the ball out of the low post a few times, and that made a difference. I think that's something we just got to work on more because, again, nobody's done that. So we play three games. You never see that. All of a sudden, now here it comes. It's a new thing, and it took us a long, too long to adjust to it. And I think the toughest guys to play down there are six six guys. Everybody thinks that well, they're a little guy. That that they're the toughest guys to play when they get down low. It's much easier to play a six ten guy. Much easier. They don't have that ability to put the ball on the floor and spin and turn. They just kind of turn it. We can block that. 
but you can't get to that. So again, that's something we can learn, but uh, there's no question. When a team decides to go inside, which now I'm sure people are going to, we have to be better when that happens. Jim, what does it say about, you know, when, when CJ struggles and he's the leader of this team and somebody else needs to step up and maybe you guys are still looking for whoever that is? Well, you know, I, I, I think other guys tried to. I think Mike came in and tried and he made a couple plays. Uh, I thought Trevor got to the basket, tried to get to the basket better. They're not going to give him many shots. You know, he's not going to get many good looks out there. I think Tyler really is, uh, he really struggled tonight. I mean, this was, uh, you know, he just, he's, he's, he, before he was just playing and making the play. Now he's thinking, I'm going to go and shoot. And it wasn't there. I'm going to go and shoot. It wasn't there. Trevor was over here, wide open. Somebody was trailing. And he's trying to shoot over a guy. I mean, he's had, he has not made those plays at all in practice or this summer. He didn't make any of those plays. Which is, you know, now he's doing things that you would expect a freshman to do. He's trying to do some things there when he should just make the pass. Uh, but he got the basket, made a big drive for us, and you know. But uh, you know, again, uh, he's a freshman. Uh, you know, he's he's got a lot of, a lot of work ahead of him. Uh, he'll he'll he will play better, but he'll have games like. Michael Carter Williams with three for 17 a couple, more than a couple times. You know, that's just what happens. But uh, he'll make better decisions. He'll see it. We'll try to show him some things, and I think he'll, he'll get better. He'll get better there. But uh, yeah, when you don't, when you get that many guys not playing very well, and you can still get out of there, it's pretty fortunate. Pretty fortunate tonight. Jeremy made some really good plays down the, down the stretch. Really good plays. Same thing he did in Canada. So really. You didn't press until pretty late in the game. Right? Yeah, you were pressing team like they went right by us and they got right out of land and dunk, except he bobbled the ball. And you can't get lucky all the time. That's why we finally tied it, we took it off because we probably gave him a bucket and getting back and playing defense. They were thinking, you know, when it's fifth, when it's tie game, when you try to pull an upset, you start to think about it a little bit. And, uh, you know, we got a couple turnovers there, but we're not a good pressing team. Coach, when St. Francis, when they went on that run middle of the second half and late in the second half, were you looking for some way to vocally step up and really press or not impress? I just never thought vocally. I don't think vocally means anything. Somebody's got to make a good play on defense. We did. Vocal stepping up is vastly over It's worth about zero. Coach, what is worse on is somebody making a play. That's what's what we have to do. Yep. Coach, what does it mean about Jeremy Grant? Obviously, CJ struggled a little bit down the stretch, but Jeremy stepped up. Well, he's a good player, and we, you know, he, we expect him to be able to do that. He did it last year as a freshman, and he's better this year. He's bigger, stronger. Uh, you know, he's worked hard on his shot. You know, they're giving him a shot. I mean, he, he can make that 15 footer. When he starts making that, it's going to be difficult to guard. Now they're playing off him, and, uh, <coughs> you know, it's going to be, it, it, it's harder to get to the basket when they don't guard you out there. But he, he'll, he'll start, he'll make that shot, I think. From an emotional perspective, like a boys' perspective, were you happy with how your team kind of handled close game? Well, you're in a tough situation. You're down. It wasn't close. We were down. We had to make plays. Uh, we had to make stops. And if we didn't make the stops, we wouldn't have a chance to win the game. Then if we made the stops, we had to come down, we had to convert. And uh, you know, we did that. We you know we made a couple really good defensive plays and then they fouled us right out of the defensive play. So I mean those are things that you gotta do and then you gotta you gotta go and make the free throw. So, you know, and we did that. But we're gonna be in a lot of games like this. Last year, we had a, a really good team last year, and we lost nine, what it was, nine regular season games, nine or ten, something like that, um, five out of six, and you know, we had a, you know, a very
very, very experienced backcourt. And uh, we lost three guys that uh, could get 20 any night we played. And we didn't replace them with anybody that could get 20. So uh, it's, we're a different team. Uh, I thought this team really was just about really, really in trouble in this game. And they, they hung in there. They made plays to on the defensive end and uh, turned it over and got something on the offense. So we got points off our defense because we got the steal, Jeremy made a good play, and we got the layup, and then we got another steal, got fouled, but CJ got the steal, got fouled. It was all defensive plays. There was no offense at all. Our offense was non-existent tonight, really. It was not good. 